Hello, my name is Jesse, and today we'll be covering how to monitor MySQL in Nagios XI. Monitoring a MySQL server from Nagios XI is not too difficult, but there are a couple of requirements that need to be in place before the server can be monitored. First and foremost, the Nagios XI server, specifically the IP address of the server, will need access to the remote MySQL server. So this is my remote MySQL server. Let me just go into the database, and I will show you the user that I've given access to. So you can see that Nagios XI, this is the Nagios XI IP address, is associated with this user, bar, and it has a password, and it's allowed privileges against a database that I made called foo. So that needs to be in place before you can monitor a remote MySQL server, otherwise you'll just get access denied errors. So this is what needs to happen. First you go to the configure menu and click on configuration wizards. Next, type in MySQL and grab the MySQL server wizard. We'll enter the IP address of your MySQL server, and mine is 192.168.3.253. My port is default, it's 3306. I'm just using the default MySQL port. My user's name is bar, and I'll enter the user's password as well. The database that I'm monitoring, and my database is foo. So that's all that's required to connect to the server remotely. Let's just press next. And then we can monitor a bunch of metrics about MySQL, including connection time, uptime, open connections. You know, everything that's listed here can be monitored in MySQL. If you have some MySQL slaves, you can also monitor slave IO and slave leg, etc. Uh, these are all very good metrics to monitor, so I will leave them all checked as they are by default. Press next, and I'll click on finish for the sake of time. So Nagios XI is going to apply my configuration and reload the server. The configuration has been applied. Now we'll go to the search menu and let's look for the new server that I added. I can type in 253 because I know that was part of the IP address and we'll click on that host. So you can see that I'm monitoring LDAP on this server as well, but all of my brand new MySQL checks are in the pending state. To check on these all at the same time instantly, I mean I could force them one by one, but the easiest way is to go into the host object, go to the advanced tab and click force immediate check for all hosts or for this host and all of its services. So that'll process. We'll give it just a couple of seconds and click on this blue leaflet to go back. And you can see that we're logged in to the MySQL server and a variety of these are failing because my index usage is a little high, my InnoDB buffer pool hit rate is at a high percentage. Uh, and that's just because you know I didn't adjust any of these thresholds before I added these checks. But this, uh, even now, it's making me aware of some issues that could be happening on my MySQL server. But you can see that they are all monitoring appropriately. We can connect appropriately. We can see how many threads there are, how many processes are running, etc. So it gives you a, a, a bunch of details about your MySQL server that maybe you didn't have access to before. It's also worth noting that these details will be charted over time, and you can get to these charts by clicking these performance graph icons. Now mine won't be very interesting because I only have one or two points of data so far, so there's not really a graph, but it will chart these over time. So if your client connection threads starts rising at a, at a massive rate, you can see that in the performance graph and maybe there would be a spike here and you could correlate that with something else that was happening at the same time. And if you have any questions about MySQL or how to monitor it, feel free to reach out to us at the support forum. We're at support.nagios.com forum. Otherwise, check out our related content at the YouTube channel. Thanks.